Hello everyone, my name is Lara and together with Malin, I'm representing Students for Future Bonn today. And we are very glad to be able to welcome you to the second lecture of the climate controversies. As climate activists, it is important to us to act locally, but at the same time think globally. As the climate crisis is a global problem, we can only achieve climate justice by working together and learning from each other. So we are excited for this lecture series in which we are going to learn more about the climate crisis in Southeast, Southeast Asia, current challenges and strategies for climate justice from experts from and working on the region Southeast Asia. We would like to thank Dr. Pai for inviting us to organize this lecture series together with the Department of Southeast Asian Studies at the University of Bonn, with the Foundation ASEAN House, the Philippine Bureau, and our fellow activists from Fridays for Future Cologne. Before we dive in today's lecture on the threat imposed on the Malcolm Delta by Professor Tuan, I would like to hand over to Marlene for a brief introduction of our group. So that in case this lecture series motivates you to stand in for climate justice and climate action, you know how to get involved with us. Yeah, thank you, Lara. Uh, my name is Marlene. I'm also from uh, Students for Future and from Fridays for Future. Um, and wait a second, my screen is not, ah, here, continuing. So, yeah, I want to tell you a little bit about who we are. I hope you already know this, but uh, in case you don't, now you know. Um, we are part of Fridays for Future, which is a global student movement. Um, we are above the party line, so we are not influenced by any um, organization or party. Um, we are autonomous and decentralized, so there are a lot of um, autonomous groups all over the world who are... Uh, who belong to the same movement but are independent from each other. Um, as Lara told you, uh, we fight for climate justice um, and that um, all the countries apply with the Paris Agreement and um, that the global warming is limited to um, 1.5 degrees. And especially the Students for Future, um, we are part, as, as, as we said, uh, of Fridays for Future, but we fight for climate justice at universities and we want more university students to be part of the uh, climate fight. Um, and we want the universities to take um, their responsibilities seriously um, to be, um, yeah, to be a good, uh, what I, yeah, to be a, a good um, person uh, which acts and the others should follow like them. So um, in case you are interested in our work, please don't hesitate to contact us. Due to the pandemic, we are currently meeting online via Discord. The Students for Future meeting takes place every second Tuesday. Next meeting is on 24th of November, 7 o'clock p.m. And the Fridays for Future group meets every Thursday, also 7 o'clock p.m. You can contact us via mail and social media. And please don't worry in case you've never used Discord before, we gladly help you with that. To give you an insight in our work, Marlene will tell you a little bit more about an important issue to us right now. Yeah, um, we wanted to use this, um, yeah, this lecture a little bit to inform you about uh, things which are going on. Um, not in the world, but actually at the moment in Germany, it's about the Danröder forest. It's a forest in Hessen, um, where a part of the forest is, um, cut, is being cut down at the moment for a an highway, and it's a really old project. Uh, since 40 years, they are planning to build this new highway, and um, they are still want to build it, and they have to cut this forest down for it, and it's a water protection area and a European flora and fauna habitat. So it's um, really important to have functional forests at the moment and they are like cutting it down for a highway which no one needs. Um, this forest is occupied since one year. There are living activists, uh, activists are living there. And uh, since October this year, they started to um, cut the trees there. And um, yesterday they started to cut this uh, big forest. Where are the pictures from? And um, yeah, we wanted to notify you about this. So. The more people know, the greater is the chance to stop this. But not only in Germany, but unfortunately worldwide, forests are at risk. And the European Union carries responsibility for that. 
consumption patterns in the U EU account for around 10% of global deforestation due to the imports like coca, palm oil or beef. However, until now, European companies cannot be held accountable for the destruction of forests and nature and human rights violation in their supply chains. But right now, we do have an historic chance to change that. Um, because there's an important process going on on European level for uh, the development of a law against deforestation. More than 100 non-governmental organizations have joined forces in a campaign called Together for Forest and are ad advocating for a strong law to protect our forests worldwide. If you like to join in, you can support this course by visiting the campaign's website or fridaysforfuture.de slash togetherforforests and take part in the consultation for this lawmaking process. It takes no more than five minutes and it really makes a difference. With that being said, um, I would like to wish us all an interesting lecture. I'm very much looking forward to this and would like to hand over to the moderator today, Manuel Hipke. Yes, uh, thank you very much for this um, very interesting introduction. And thank you for uh, you guys if you're participating in this lecture series. Um, I would like uh, to welcome each and every one of you to this um, new lecture series that we have, the Climate Controversies. Um, today we have uh, our, the second edition of this lecture series and uh, in this lecture and lecture series we will uh, learn more like uh, Marlene uh, said before about um, the climate change especially in Southeast Asia and um, today we have a, a very interesting guest for this we have uh, Professor Li Antoine from uh, Vietnam from Canto and um, he will speak about um, the topic the Mekong Delta under threat and um, I would like to give you a very short introduction about uh, Professor Li Antoine. Um, he uh, is uh, from Canto, like I said, it's a city in the southern uh, part of Vietnam, uh, a couple of uh, like 200 kilometers south of uh, Ho Chi Minh City. And um, he uh, is currently uh, uh, in the position of a senior lecturer at the College of Environment and Natural Resources. He's also the vice director of research um, for climate change. And uh, in the past uh, 30 years, you work in a lot of fields um, that are uh, very interesting in, uh, in, the, in, in every aspect of climate change, um, especially in the fields of wa uh, water resource planning uh, and management, uh, environmental engineering, and many more. And uh, it's also very interesting that he uh, recently uh, has participated in research projects about climate change and adoption in the Mekong River Delta. So that's why he's the perfect guest speaker for us today um, about this very interesting topic. And um, yeah, that's all that I want to say. And uh, Professor Lee, uh, I'm very glad that you uh, are here with us today, even though it's, I think, very late in Vietnam now. Uh, and now you have um, 30 minutes uh, where you uh, can give us um, a, little bit, a little bit of an insight about your uh, project and about what you're thinking about uh, the climate change, uh, especially in the Mekong River. Delta, and after that, we will um, have another 30 minutes uh, for a question. And um, yeah, that's all that I want to say. And Professor Lee, now you can start. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm very delighted uh, to present uh, something about the uh, Mekong Delta uh, with the title so Mekong Delta under the teeth uh, in the theory of a climate uh, controversy in the South Asia. Uh, first of all, I would like uh, I would like to uh, to have a brief introduction about the Mekong River Basin. Uh, the Mekong River is one of the world's large river system of following. 4,909 kilometers to, to six countries, uh, China, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and finally to Vietnam. It's ran about the earlier about 795,000 square kilometers. 
yeah, Michach, uh, Michakin, yeah. about 475 uh, cubic kilometers of the water annually. The source of the river uh, bridge productivity is, is seasonal varia variation in the water level and the rain of the wetland habitat inundated. The Mekong River Basin biodiversity in immersion, uh, even in uh, comparison with other parts of the tropical island. It uh, biodiversity is funda fundamental to the well, we are liberty uh, of the natural resource based rural livelihood and population of 16 million people living in the lower Mekong Basin. And uh, we can say that Mekong River is called of the mother stream uh, at the natural shore for 15, uh, at least 16 million people here. And in the, in the region, agriculture uh, and aquaculture, fishery and forestry production activity are the main livelihood of more than 70% of the rural people. And uh, in currently, we try to balance among the water security, uh, not only in Vietnam, but also in other place in the, in the Mekong Basin. Uh, and we try to balance with the food security and thinking about the uh, energy security in the region. Um, okay. Uh, in a, in a uh, report of the IPCC, uh, Inter Intergovernmental Panel and Climate Change, had, that, uh, had identified that the Mekong Delta in Vietnam at one of the trees had met the Delta region by climate change worldwide. Uh, in the picture, we can see the, the different dot. Uh, present the, 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 the delta. Uh, we, can, we can find that in, in the map there are the three uh, big red boat, uh, namely uh, 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 nine, uh, nine uh, basin, uh, Gang Bamaputra in Bangladesh and, uh, and India and uh, Mekong Delta. Um, Arison uh, established that uh, nearly 300 million people habit in the same of the 40 Delta group uh, globally, including the last mega Delta. Uh, and uh, we found that uh, uh, they estimate that using the, the total digital uh, terrain model and uh, global population distribution data, uh, that more than 1 million people have been directly affected by the 2050 in the three mega delta. Uh, as I said, Gang Bamaputra Delta in Bangladesh, Mekong Delta in Vietnam, and the Nai Delta in Europe. And more than 50,000 people are likely to direct, uh, directly impact it in each future Nai uh, Delta and more than five thousand in it in the future gravity data. Um, the in, in the makeup data we had uh, the uh, potential for the hydro hydro power development in the makeup uh, system. Uh, the estimates the hydro power potential in the low makeup including China is around fifty 53,900 megawatt, why it's up in the Yunnan uh, for wind. Uh, China has about 23,000 uh, megawatt or 42% around more or less. And in the lower Mekong, the potential hydropower capacity is more than 30,900 uh, megawatt or 57 more uh, percent, distribute about one, uh, 24 percent to the mainstream of the river and uh, around 33 percent in the tributary. Laos had a large catch pass of the potential hydropower development with 7,500 megawatt in the mainstream and around 30,000 megawatt in tributary. Following are uh, um, Cambodia, Thailand, and Thailand. Vietnam had only 
three per uh, more than three percent, three percent and ten point uh, seventy one percent uh, total potential hydro power sure mainly in the central of Vietnam. Uh, the development of the hydro uh, of the Mekong River Basin is highly controversial. It is one of the most commitment component uh, discussion about the river and its management. The debate occurred in the both academic lecturer as well as in the media and focus in the many activist, activist group. Um, I, I, I can say that uh, the makeup delta in the Vietnam uh, were a disease hold the Mekong River water before entering the the East Sea. The Mekong Delta of um, in Vietnamese we, we call the Nong Bang Sung Long uh, literally Nai Dak Long River Delta in or simply uh, Vietnam uh, the Mekong River Delta. Uh, the Mekong Delta is big get agriculture and aquaculture production or region of Vietnam. Um, we have we have uh, the delta it connect more than 700 uh, kilometer coastal line to the east sea and the route of the thailand uh, the mekong delta uh, region and compass of the last portion of the southwest vietnam and up over 4500 square kilometer is around 12 uh, percent of the total natural land of vietnam and host um, more than 80 million inhabitants in the data in the year 2010. It's, a, it's count about 22% of the whole population of the of the Vietnam. Um, from uh, the Delta supply more than 93% of the natural stuff food at rice, uh, rice and, and other food crops and 80% of the total fish production and 25% of food for our domestic use and export to another place in the world. Uh, the Delta uh, rice production is considered as a main economy sector which occurs uh, more than 60% of the labor force in the Mekong Delta. Uh, we uh, we found that uh, the total rice production in the Mekong Delta and uh, to other market uh, reached about uh, four, or around 45 billion ton of the package rice, or uh, approximately 28 uh, million ton of the milk rice. Uh, since end of the decade uh, 1980 up to present, Vietnam now as one of the Top five milk rice export to the work market, and uh, about ninety percent of the rice export it comes from the Mekong Delta. Uh, we found that the the rice yield and rice production increase from year to year in the Mekong Delta. Uh, for example, in uh, in the year two thousand and thirteen, we produce uh, more than uh, twenty four million ton of the rice. Uh, in periods, about uh, uh, 7 million tons of rice were sold in the world uh, food market at the higher rice export record in the, of the nation. Um, in, in, uh, in the, we're saying about the hydrology, uh, the Mekong Delta uh, uh, bring the, 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 the water to the Mekong Delta in the west season with the uh, discharge and rest about uh, 39,000 cubic meter per second. But in the dry season, the flow from upstream to the Delta is dropped dramatically to 2,500 cubic meter per second in Everest. Uh, in, in, in Vietnam, we have only the two seasons are uh, extreme even of the river hydrology flood and drought occurs. Uh, this uh, meteorological and hydrological figure quickly affect not only in agriculture and aquaculture cultivation, but also 
to the resident town habit throughout the, the delta. Uh, okay. Uh, we know that the the dry production is very important uh, in the Mekong Delta. In the in in the left side, uh, you can see the, the yellow color of the land use for the dry uh, cultivation in the uh, in the uh, in the Mekong Delta. And I can say that almost the province in the Mekong Delta are, uh, are, uh, have had a loss of the the partly dry. But in the in the coastal area, we use some land for the stream uh, cultivation. Uh, due to the the salinity, uh, salinity intrusion, because the Mekong Delta has connect nearly uh, 300, uh, 750 kilometer of the coastal line in the in the in, in the East Sea and the wood of the uh, of the Thailand, uh, we found that uh, the 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 salinity intrusion may be uh, a problem in the coastal area in the, in the, in the, in the term of the water supply. But uh, in present, it maybe it, it change the agricultural production, but increase the aquaculture production. Um, saying about the climate change, uh, there's many mathematical model for opposition the change of the. Uh, the weather, uh, the climate in the future. Uh, if there is no any change uh, from now to the end of the century, the the air temperature in the in the whole uh, Mekong Basin will increase about the uh, zero point three uh, uh, Celsius degree up to one one point five Celsius degree, and uh, the the rainfall may be changed in the Mekong Delta about the uh, eight percent to the five percent if compared to the normal uh, normal year in present times. Uh, this is uh, the challenge for us uh, in, in the term of the what uh, climate change. And, as you know, the water is very important a component for the agricultural production, special in the rice season when all the water should are scared why the water need in the whole activity are very high. The Mekong River Delta in Vietnam is big at uh, agricultural production uh, and more than half of the land area of the Delta in the West Season are being used mainly for rice and upland crop cultivation. While in the rice season, stream cultivation is suitable for coastal area. Uh, Estimating the net water required in the rice season is one of the strategy keys for the regional water uh, UT problem. And uh, climate change is more the, the problem uh, for the water uh, unity in the Mekong Delta in present time. Um, in the last uh, few years, we found that the crowd uh, raw and uh, shock water intrusion in the Mekong Delta of course is a more uh, the sick country earlier than in the rice season of the year 2016-2020 and maybe the next year 2021 uh, severity still remain in, uh, and the situation will have to continue to be uh, Servers in the coming time in the rice season and agricultural production and livelihood uh, will be continuously at fed. The Mekong Delta as a mod of the zero impact of the drought and salary intrusion on the agricultural production and livelihood of the people in the Mekong Delta because the Delta is connected more than 750 coastal line and high density of hundreds of river and Cannot flow into the wood of the Thailand and the sea. Um, and you can see that when uh, in the rice season, almost the six country in the Mekong Delta are affected by the drought from China, Myanmar, uh, uh, Laos, Thailand, and Cambodia. But in Vietnam, not only drought, but we are also facing another problem from the sea, uh, saline intrusion. Um, 
why we we we, uh, we can uh, say that the Mekong Delta is most vulnerable area where the old anti population living within under the three meter low elevation water line. In the picture, you can see the the, the Mekong Delta from the um, from the air, and you can see the, the delta is very low and flat. Uh, the elevation of the Mekong Delta is lower than uh, three meter. If you make a cross section from the border between the Cambodia and Vietnam to the sea, the cross section of the delta is something like that. And you can see the almost uh, elevation from the border between Vietnam uh, and Cambodia to the East Sea are lower than uh, three, uh, three meter. It's an average about the one of 1.2 uh, meter above the sea level. You can imagine that. If the sea level rise about the one meter, many parts of the of the delta uh, will be uh, inundated in the water in the high tide periods. That is the main problem in the Mekong Delta in present times. Um, in uh, uh, we also have many uh, weather problem in the Mekong Delta. In in the, uh, we. Uh, in the Mekong Delta, the dry season start from the November and, uh, and end of the April. The rainy season will start in April and uh, uh, finish in the October. In um, in the dry season, we face in with the hot and dry air. The water shortage in almost uh, the coastal area and the saline intrusion is main problem in our uh, in our coastal uh, coastal province. And uh, and uh, besides the crowd, we also facing with the acid water released from the, the soil. And coming to the rainy season, we facing in many lining have uh, happened in many places. And even in the rainy season, we had some dry spell in the middle of the middle time. In uh, August, uh, the the early flood from the upstream of the Mekong uh, River come to the delta. And the delta is facing with the high flood in the September and October, and uh, is a tide, uh, the erosion, the river man erosion and uh, coastal erosion, in happen combined with the heavy rainfall and high tide. In the end of the the, the year, we facing in some tropical storm, or uh, um, uh, low pressure uh, appears from the Philippine uh, Sea and uh, East Sea attack to the uh, to the central of Vietnam and some part of the in the south of the Vietnam. Um, okay, uh, this is a picture taken uh, for uh, seeing uh, the delta from, from, from the sea. You can see the, the delta is very low and flat and uh, climate change and sea level rise is considered at one of the biggest challenges of the Mekong Delta. We facing in many. We had many uh, data concerning the increase of the headways, the high solar radiation, uh, the change of the flood, and uh, up north more rainfall uh, to the delta in the in the rainy season. And in the rainy season, we facing with droughts in almost the place in the Mekong Delta, and uh, beside the river bank erosion and uh, coastal erosion. It happened uh, seriously due to the the review of the sediment from the upstream of the Mekong River uh, to the delta and the saline intrusion uh, attack in two sides of the delta. And uh, in present time, the land subsidence is uh, another problem to the delta because the lack of the, the fresh water, water, the local people had to attract a loss of the groundwater for the uh, not used, you know, domestic use and uh, some uh, production. It, because uh, when we over exploit uh, the crop water, the land is, uh, is now sinking. Um, uh, this is a picture taken in the, in the, the cap of the, um, um, in the cap of the, the Kamau Peninsula. Uh, it, it, it is the point uh, connect between the East Sea and West Sea. Uh, you can see the, the local people here are very poor and uh, and risky. Um, 
the local people are high, uh, uh, dependent highly on the natural and weather condition. Uh, they are facing with the chain of a river flow and a sea level rise leading the river man and coastal line shortly. You can see uh, some uh, mango forests uh, were destroyed due to the sea level rise. Uh, last year, when I returned to this place, the house in the picture were disappear, and many mango forests were destroyed continuously. Uh, I do not uh, know where they, they are in this moment. Um, uh, we, we also found that the, uh, the back of data had another problem uh, related to the, the temporary issue. Uh, in the Mekong Delta because of a loss of the, the hydropower the dam project uh, being built or built in the future in the, uh, in the upstream of the Mekong Delta, mainly in China, uh, in Laos, uh, maybe some part in the Cambodia, besides uh, some the irrigation project were developed in the, in the Laos and the, and the, the it west of the Thailand. It will uh, affect the become Delta in the dry season. Uh, combined with the upstream um, uh, project and um, uh, sorry, uh, and a water diversion project in the Thailand and climate change and Silu Rai, I can say that the uh, the Mekong Delta facing in many problems uh, involving uh, uh, water transportation impact and the hydro regime uh, will be changed. It will affect to the water quality, water quality and water uh, dynamic and ecosystem. And of course, it will lead to many problems involving the polluted water, crowd, food, and uh, affect to the the river navigation, erosion, food security, and nutrient uh, uh, reduce and affect to the health problem. Uh, we are unknown uh, about uh, that. There are many unknown and uncountable potential risks and negative impact uh, to the Delta in, in this moment. Uh, of course, we, we have to try to, to, uh, to adaptation with climate change. Uh, in present, we try to collect all the data for making the analysis and uh, uh, projection what happened in the future. Uh, based on the scientific data analysis, we continue to raise awareness to the local people for uh, their knowledge, uh, the patient uh, situation in the Mekong Delta. And uh, parallel, we make the some policy advocacy for asking the government change the policy uh, for climate change adaptation to the Mekong Delta. And we try to build in uh, some action plan to the Me uh, Delta. And uh, based on the, our action plan, we try to make the, some adaptation and continue to make the analysis. It's a kind of the circulation with, uh, with the name Phi A, analysis, awareness, advocacy, action plan, action and adaptation. Uh, basically, we can say that the team men mainstay of the uh, of the Mekong system and Mekong Delta are still based on the natural resources. On the our uh, our uh, uh, economy based on the aquaculture, fishery, and the service service here is service for agriculture and fishery, and uh, and everything are dependent highly on water, land, and climate change resource. Uh, I think uh, the Mekong Delta uh, community needs a certain more development based on the tree security uh, foundation. Uh, what is very important of the, uh, of the local people here, because from water we can make everything for our life. Uh, based on the water security, we can have, we will have the food security. Uh, without water, we can, we can, have, we can produce some food. And uh, without the food security, it will affect to the social security uh, in the whole Delta. And uh, without the social security, we cannot say about the sustainable development. Um, yeah, and the climate change is also another uh, effect to the old the, the base in the Mekong Delta in present times. Uh, in, in the Mekong Delta, we have water environmental challenges 
uh, just as uh, climate change and sea level rise, upstream hydropower dam and water diversion, uh, increase of population and uh, migration, and over uh, exploiting natural resources and uh, decreasing of the soil, water, and air, and change in the land use. And we try to overcome uh, this, this uh, challenge. Uh, for climate change, we try to find some way for adaptation. Uh, we can prevent the entry of the population and migration and try to control uh, the over exploiting of the natural resources and uh, try to uh, improve um, the, 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 the condition of the soil, water, and air and adjustable of the land use uh, 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 changing. But it, considering the upstream hydropower dam and water diversity, we uh, is it uncontrollable and unadaptable. That's the main uh, uh, piece of the makeup delta in present time. Okay, and now uh, we have some uh, discussions. That the lower Mekong Delta ha have more CO2 uh, knockable impact. That is the climate change and upstream dam at a uh, consequence in comparison of project climate change, industrial development, and upstream dam operation could increase many negative effects uh, on the local rye and feed cultivation in the Delta. Uh, lower flow in the Mekong Delta does not only provide necessary fresh water and aluminum, uh, the Delta ecosystem and agricultural production, but also lack the high, high uh, sea tide green more saline intrusion up to the 50 to 80 kilometers to cultivated land. Uh, this, uh, of, if the hydraulic high, high variability combined with all the human water attraction and hydropower dam development factor, the Mekong Delta challenger may be, become too worsen in the future. Uh, also, there's effort for the environmental education and population control from the government and the civil society the lack of the public awareness and ineffective environmental regulation had resulted in the poor environmental management commonly. For a long-term strategy for the water skill in the Mekong River Basin, there's an urgent need for an inclusive and a stakeholder participatory approach in the water resources planning and management. Careful net is necessary for every phase of the water project development with regard to social and environmental of course. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, impression time. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Bay, for uh, this very interesting lecture. Uh, that was very, very good. And now we have uh, another 30 minutes for. Uh, for questions, uh, but first of all, we as students um, from the Department of Southeast Asian Studies have prepared um, three questions, and before uh, the other uh, people can ask the questions, we will start, and after that, uh, feel free uh, to just raise your hands or uh, just uh, write into the chat, and I can ask um, Professor Lei the questions. Um, first, um, I think uh, Jutta can start, and then uh, Ramona, and then Isabel, and then you can just ask Professor Lay the questions. Yes. So, um, so, so, hi, I can, I can start. Excuse me, because we have double. I just to finish that here. Where is it? Okay, excuse me. Um, so, um, also, also from my side, Professor, um, um, many thanks for your um, lecture. And so the question we have, have been thinking of um, is um, the um, Vietnamese government is uh, calling for international financial uh, support. Uh, this is what we took from uh, your lecture, but also from the paper we read, we prepared in beforehand. And the, the question is, um, uh, the money that the uh, international community provides, um, does the government use it for climate change relevant measures uh, or 
Yeah, or, or, or does it prefer to to um, use the money for um, more for economic development? I mean, does it directly go into um, climate change relevant measures or or not? Okay, uh, uh, is it, um, uh, I, I, I don't know uh, so all the money from the international agency or uh, government uh, agency to the central government how to use. But I found that uh, in, in the Mekong Delta, we received many uh, support from the NGO, in the many NGO and uh, some uh, uh, government or, uh, organization and uh, central uh, government of the Vietnam to support the local people in the Mekong Delta for mm -hmm. fighting the climate change adaptation in many, many ways. Uh, not uh, not only in the, uh, the climate change measure, but non non uh, uh, non measure. We try uh, uh, the, the money from the government uh, come to the uh, many institute in the in the in the Mekong Delta and the local people, uh, local government to support the community to fighting some adapt in the uh, agricultural production and aquaculture production, and we. Uh, we also had uh, some uh, uh, construction for uh, as, uh, building some of the, the sluice uh, irrigation system improves uh, and uh, improve the, the, the mango forest in the Mekong Delta. But uh, uh, I, I, I don't have the, the in, in, uh, enough the, the data from the financial uh, use. Uh, mm. Yeah. I'm working in the university. I I I can uh, I cannot accept all the all the the, 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 the data and document about the uh, the government uh, and uh, international. Yeah, uh, but uh, but I know in, uh, there's many uh, financial support uh, for the uh, from from the, uh, the, the group, uh, many different government and uh, non. Uh, non-government organization to support the local people and we mm. so sometimes we have some uh, collaboration with them and and use uh, the, the money uh, effectively and uh, we support a lot of the, the poor farmer to adapt with the, the, the chain yeah yeah, yeah if, if i may if i may um uh, uh, ask, ask again uh, because i refer to the international uh, uh, support um so the support you were talking about is um, uh, the support from the government, which goes directly to the local people, if I understood you correctly. Um, and what's about the international international financial support, especially from industrial countries of the so-called global north? Um, I, I have seen, I've read that there are projects and uh, does the money or does the government uh, uses it maybe for other projects? Uh, so I, I think, yeah, I think there's just many different sorts of the financial support. Mm. Some come to directly to the central government in uh, in Hanoi, mm, and okay. some come directly to the uh, provincial uh, uh, government in uh, in the Mekong Delta. Mm. Yeah, it depends on the the, the, the project, big or small. And uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, it's depend on the, the, the project and uh, on the project uh, uh, collaboration project in uh, in uh, in uh, our uh, university. I think we use directly to the to the community uh, yeah, uh, to okay. send many uh, 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 workshop uh, for raising the awareness and uh, uh, try to improve the right uh, variety uh, mm. uh, and uh, support uh, the. The, the change, uh, uh, agricultural transformation for adapt with, uh, with climate change and, and so on. Just, mm, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I know in, in our stood in the last uh, 10 years, we deceased uh, nearly uh, 50 or 60 uh, different uh, projects uh, for climate change adaptation and own the, our, 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 uh, uh, our project are used for uh, improve the uh, condition of the local community. Yeah. That's quite interesting. Thank you very much for your answer. Yeah. 
Um, thank you very much for your talk, for your lecture. And we had the question, um, how can the knowledge of the local people like the Khmer uh, and the indigenous people who live in the Mekong Delta and have the life experience to live there, how can this knowledge being implied concerning climate change in the Mekong Delta region? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the last uh, uh, 10 years, we uh, organized many uh, 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 training, uh, for, uh, training for the, the, the poor people, uh, mainly in the uh, farmer and uh, uh, the, the worker. And uh, some of them are uh, ethnic people like the Khmer or Cham in, in the Mekong Delta. It's, it's also the, the difficult for us, but uh, in, in the in the, uh, in the Kanto University, we had uh, some teacher in uh, the, uh, the, uh, the work in, uh, in the Khmer uh, village and they can uh, use the Khmer language to, uh, to, to, to support the, the, the people here. And uh, I think uh, we had uh, some uh, um, uh, uh, surface about the, 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 the knowledge and uh, awareness of the entities, the people about the climate change. We, we, uh, we found that uh, the, the understanding of the climate change of their increase from year to year, and they can adapt uh, with the, the change of the nature and, uh, 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 and, uh, and uh, they can uh, follow the, the new technology from the country you know, say to support them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, hello. Uh, thank you very much for your interesting lectures. It was very interesting. Um, I have a question um, concerning your. Um, uh, so you talked about um, the three security foundations. Um, for sustainable water use in the Mekong Delta. And I really would like to know um, how the government can make um, this um, security foundations true and how they can um, make this more aware for the farmers in the Mekong Delta. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the problem, uh, the water problem in the Mekong Delta is very complex. Uh, it uh, it depends on the the water ecosystem. We try to adapt in a different situation. In, in in the northern part of the Mekong Delta, we facing with uh, the high uh, flood yearly, and we try to find uh, some uh, some way for finding some the uh, cal uh, uh, cropping calendar fitting with uh, the flooding tides. And as some place, the, the local people try to build some night to protect uh, the area for uh, their uh, cultivation. Uh, in, the, in the coastal area, uh, we are facing with uh, saline intrusion. And now we change some uh, dry uh, production to the stream, uh, stream cultivation for fitting the, 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 the new situation. Or uh, in, in some place in the middle, we apply the, the, the farming system, namely in rye and stream cultivation. In the rainy season, we, we use the fresh water from the, rain, uh, from the rainfall for rye cultivation. And in the rye season, when the, the fresh water is scarce and uh, the, uh, the salar intrusion come to the, the rye field and we use the, the, the shock water for stream cultivation. Uh, I think this is a very good uh, farming system uh, in present time because uh, uh, it, uh, it uh, supports the farmer reduce to use the, uh, the chemical fertilizer and uh, pesticide. Uh, you, you can imagine in the in in rainy season, we use uh, uh, the fresh water from the rainfall for rye, uh, for rye uh, cultivation. And after harvest, on the rice right straw uh, remains to the rice right field and, and let it uh, decay. And it's become to the, the food for the stream in the rice right season. And uh, when we uh, when we rise the stream in the rice right season, the, the waste from the stream become to the, the organic uh, 
fertilizer for the rice in the next crop. I think it depends on the the, the, the the situation in in each uh, different ecosystem. We try to find in some suitable uh, uh, climate change adaptation with the different technology for the farmer. But it's, it's, it's not uh, it's, uh, uh, not easy. Is now because the, 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 you can imagine uh, we 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 make some projection of the climate change in the future, but there is many the uncertainties about the, the, the weather, about the, the 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 use of the water in the upstream, and uh, and all the um, teeth like the development of the industrial zone, maybe affect to the the water uh, quality. And so on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you very much for, uh, until now. Uh, and if there are any questions here, then you can just switch on your camera or raise your hands, um, or you can just uh, write it into the chat, and then uh, you can yeah just feel free to ask Professor Lay everything that you want to know. So um, if there, uh, if you need a little bit more time, or Mr. Pai, you want to ask a question, right? Okay, then you can go. If no one else uh, uh, is ready yet. Um, so f thanks a lot for the talk. I think it really showed uh, the massive impact that climate change is, is will will have and is already having on the Delta, but also thought it was very interesting how you showed it interacts with a lot of the the change is already happening through a particular um, development model that's being pursued, especially with the dams and you know that kind of thing. So uh, that was very, very um, uh, illuminating. Um, now I have a, a rather silly question. We in Germany, we we live next door to to the Dutch, to the Netherlands, and uh, of course the, the Netherlands is as a whole country is sort of uh, below sea level. And, yeah. uh, and they basically sorted it by building these huge dikes and uh, pumping out water, et cetera, et cetera. So what do you say to people who who come along and say, why not why not just do what the Dutch have done to to the to the Rhine Delta, uh, mm -hmm. to the Mekong Delta? Why why doesn't that work? Uh, yeah, we had a bad day, uh, collaboration with the Dutch expert in the Mekong Delta. And uh, uh, we we also send some uh, some student to uh, to the Netherlands to study how to adapt uh, with uh, uh, the the change of nature. Uh, but when we try to apply some uh, uh, some lesson from the Netherlands, it's difficult to apply in in the Vietnam situation because uh, we do not have many uh, uh, technology. Uh, our, our financial uh, support for the building some of the high die or the uh, very big uh, pumping uh, station for control. Uh, I, I think I think before we come to the uh, many construction uh, mega construction uh, like the, the Netherlands for building some of the wonder to protect the, uh, the, the water uh, fresh water come to the to the delta. Uh, we try to protect the mango forest and uh, finding some the uh, some the way for the local people can adapt with the soft measure instead of the hard measure. It's uh, yeah, it's rather difficult to to, to to us in present time. But I think uh, the Mekom Delta is still uh, remain and uh, continue to develop. Also, is still uh, slow. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, um, we have another question uh, from Chad. Um, and uh, Tai Fung, my Vietnamese teacher, um, is asking um, what is the state of the joint effort between the government of the affected countries? Are there um, any concrete transboundary strategies from the countries that are uh, in the Mekong area? 
Um, in, in the Mekong area, we had a Mekong River Commission. Uh, it's, a, uh, uh, it, it's a commission with four countries, uh, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. You can, you can find the story in the in internet. But there's a collaboration about the, how to use the water in the Mekong Delta is very uh, effective, I, I can say that. Uh, I think in the future, we need more the, uh, close collaboration on uh, sharing the water, uh, on sharing the benefit or sharing the risk uh, among the country uh, in, the, in the Mekong, uh, Mekong region. Uh, it is not uh, so uh, easy, but I think the, uh, what uh, uh, sharing is is the key for, for for this story. Uh, and, and, and in present time, we also thinking about the what the diplomacy is about this. Uh, we can share the benefits, the share the risk in the. Uh, the international collaboration. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor Lian Tun. Um, it's me uh, raising this question. Um, yes, the, the, uh, the matter I'm, I'm very interested in is uh, there are many, many factors that uh, can only be resolved yeah. between nations or between governments, you see. Yeah. Uh, because I doubt very much uh, the, about the role of civil society organizations because of the political system. Mm. Uh, in my opinion, they have no, um, not so much uh, space for activities. You see, yeah, they see. care yeah. uh, at the first place for their economic situation first, for food security mm -hmm. and for rice production and so on. Yeah. And the issues of um, this very large scale, like climate change or storms or um, um, sign intrusion, mm. I think this, uh, these can only be resolved by a joint effort of governments, of, yeah. especially of Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar, yeah. um, whose government cannot um, have any effect on the policy. Um, Done mm. by Ch the Chinese government, you see. That yeah. is my concern. Yeah, yeah. You are right. Uh, it's also the, our concern about this. As a, you, you can see the the uh, the story of the water in the Mekong River now come to the. It's nearly the a conflict, uh, the water conflict between the the upstream country and the downstream country, and it's not easy to solve. In the in the in, in spirit of win-win, in the, between the uh, the Vietnam and uh, China, and because uh, there's many the political issues behind the story of the water, uh, we found that we also found that the Chinese government want to control uh, the water in the Mekong Delta from the Yunnan hydropower uh, water reservoir. They can use uh, the the, the just for for control the, the water in the uh, in, in the in the uh, countries uh, to the country in the downstream, uh, it's not easy to to to, to talk with the Chinese government. Uh, many years, uh, the Chinese government refused to join to Mekong River Commission, and uh, they 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 come as an observer only, and. Um, uh, we, I, I, I just heard that uh, uh, the, the, the Chinese government just agreed to share the data from the, from the Yunnan uh, uh, Lankan uh, water. But, uh, but the data is just a data. We, we, we need to, to, to know the, the plan for the, uh, the, the hydropower operation uh, system plan because for, for, from, our, for, from their plan we can know how many water remain to the Mekong Delta and we can prepare our the cropping calendar and all the activity but uh, up to now is on uh, uh, is it difficult to, 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 to collect all the data about this yeah. 
not only Vietnam, but also Cambodia and Thailand and so on. Uh, you can imagine the, the, the difficult for us. You know. And uh, there's many uh, political uh, issues behind the, the story of the water maker. Okay. Well, thank you. You see, this, uh, this remains a very big uh, issue for the whole yeah. region, not only for the countries like Laos and Cambodia, they are always, always weak yeah. of, uh, the, yeah. the policy of, of, of China, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, may, may I just join and, and add a question to that? Because um, uh, now coming to, to China, I mean, um, I read about it that China simply built the dams and doesn't inform the other the, the, the other countries. But mm. mustn't China be interested? Because I think that China will be affected by climate change change as well. Mm. Mustn't China be interested to work to, to come to working together to any sort of agreement? What do you think? Uh, yeah, uh, I think the climate change effect is a is a whole. Yeah, of course, the climate change is, is sorry of global, but the, the action be, uh, in the action for the adaptation with climate change should be in the local agreement uh, between the, the, the province to province, region to region, and the government to government. And it's not easy to, 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 to uh, compromise the benefit uh, in different uh, countries, China mm -hmm. and Vietnam and Laos, Cambodia is maybe different. Uh, the Laos want to become to battery in the uh, in Southeast Asia, and uh, they continue to to build many uh, hydropower dam. Of course, it's will attract to the, the 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 flow of the Mekong River, and uh, it's of course it's will uh, lead in the the negative impact. Of, uh, to the local people here. And now this is very big, very big problem. I cannot show in present time, but we, we try to 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 to, 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 uh, to, to, to uh, collaboration with all the uh, government, all the uh, uh, NGO and all the agency to work with together to find in some way uh, in present and in the future. You know, yeah. I'm working in the university and I can, I, I had no power enough to, to affect to the, the central government and uh, and the Chinese government. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, uh, thank you. Okay, um, we have another question uh, from the chat. Um, unfortunately, uh, Thomas Reuter is not here anymore, but he uh, still want to know. Um, how long it will be until the uh, the exports of rice from the Mekong Delta will stop? I think uh, uh, when we say it's about the rice production, uh, the rice is uh, because some a lot of water, you know, you, as you know, and we we are now to make. Uh, I am a member to 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 build the. Uh, Master plan for the makeup delta in the present time up to year, up to year 2013 and toward, uh, towards uh, the, the, the vision in the year 2050 and we try to reduce the, the dry pollution in the makeup delta for saving the water and the use water for another crop with a high uh, high high value or change the right uh, right cultivation to the stream with the shop water may be suitable. And of course, when we change the dry pollution to the stream uh, pollution, we face many uh, new uh, problem to the farmer, like uh, uh, the farmer, almost the farmer in Mekong Delta are poor, then they, uh, they had no uh, money enough to change from dry to stream. And uh, they also lack the technology and uh, they also to lack of the infrastructure to, 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 to transfer the agricultural production. Of course, we, we had to, to, uh, to, to effort to support them. And also we asked the, 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 the central government to change the policy to support them, like uh, support uh, knowledge to them, support the technology and uh, uh, Maybe we I can can ask the the bank uh, support the 
the, the money for the farmer with the low uh, uh, interest. Yeah, we try to, to apply in different way for support the, the poor people uh, to change from dry to another another crop with a high uh, quality and a high high value. We are now in the way. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we have uh, time for uh, the uh, last question. Uh, is there anyone who wants to ask something? Um, maybe someone else, Yuta? <laughs> I mean, I will wait for a second and if there is not anyone else then you can ask. Okay, uh, Lara, feel free to ask. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you for this very interesting lecture. I would like to know, you mentioned that the IPCC um, identified the Malcolm Delta as one of the places the most um, affected by the climate crisis. So do you think that in the international debates on the climate conferences, ETC, um, this topic is getting enough attention? Are the voices of the people affected heard? Or do you think that um, there's more need to be done and um, there needs to be more awareness? Yeah, we uh, we had many meetings with uh, many international and uh, agency and uh, government uh, asked uh, at us about uh, how to adapt with the climate change uh, and uh, other issue, uh, including the water temperature issue. And uh, we uh, we try to collect on the story uh, and uh, lesson learned from the climate change adaptation in the Mekong Delta. And we organize many uh, workshop for uh, our lesson and try to to extend. And we also find what what we, we get and what we lose in the climate change. And uh, we also introduce uh, the many uh, different uh, farming system in the Mekong Delta. Uh, sometimes we organize some uh, uh, the, the field trip uh, to um, uh, for, for, for the student in, the, in, in some uh, university, like in, the, in, the, in Germany, to come to Mekong Delta at work uh, with the farmer to for they understand what what we are doing. Uh, and uh, and uh, writing some the uh, uh, thesis on uh, some seminar, uh, develop some seminar uh, uh, for um, uh, for finding the, the lesson learned in uh, in uh, climate change adaptation. Uh, sometimes we send our our uh, farmer to uh, to another country like in a, to the Thailand to the Lao to come to, uh, to Cambodia for a change the knowledge and a change the, uh, the experiment about the climate change adaptation and finding uh, some way for for support of the community. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, um, Professor Lei, uh, for answering all these questions and especially for your time um, that you uh, shared with us. Um, in uh, two minutes, uh, you have, you will have the chance to give like a statement at the end uh, for like uh, your whole um, speech. But before, I would like to ask uh, Maxi that he will introduce um, us to the next uh, lecture that we will have uh, next week uh, at the same time. Yeah, thank you, uh, first of all, for your great presentation about the Mekong Delta. Um, and I would like to um, <clears throat> give you a short introduction about our next speaker. Wait, I'm going to share my screen first. Um, yeah. Um, our next speaker is uh, Marinel Ubaldo. She's from the Philippines and she's talking about storms, typhoons and climate injustice in the Philippines. She's a registered social worker and one of the founders of Youth Leaders Environmental Action Federation on the Philippines. And furthermore, Ovaldo is involved in a few other projects regarding to climate change. Yeah, um, Marilyn, Marinelle Ovaldo is um, going to tell us her story and try to shed light on the reality of climate change next week, Wednesday, 18th November um, at 4 p.m. Um, yeah, in our climate controversy talk. Um, 
I'm looking forward to see everybody of you again next week. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Maxi. And now, Fesley, if you want to say some um, last um, things uh, to you, uh, to you, to us, <laughs> um, then you're uh, very welcome. And after that, uh, we will finish our uh, talk for today. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your attention on my uh, lecture today. Uh, if you have any uh, more questions, you can send your uh, comment and uh, question to my email address, latuanhi.ctu.edu. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm happy to, to, uh, to attend uh, what you want to, to know to, with you. Okay, thank you very much. Could you maybe um, type your email address in the chat? Is it possible? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, then um, thank you everyone who participated uh, today in this lecture. Um, and uh, we are very looking forward for next week and the next weeks uh, for the other lecturers. And we hope to see uh, all of you again. And if you know anyone who's maybe interested in the series, you can just um, ask them to join to us. And um, yeah, it would be very cool if we uh, have more and more people get uh, into this very interesting and very uh, good topic. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.